Sorry guys, just realized my mic was turned off, so what I done there first, as you see in the start of the video, give a couple of passes of ordinary still water and our X1 black pretty thin down, it's almost just cold water at this stage in this and then just a couple of passes of the airbrush, give the ordinary flat brush, flat out the bigger, or sorry the bigger the better sort of thing, up and down. It doesn't look much at this stage, but as it goes along, you'll see how it turns out. So basically just cutting through the paint again. Passes again. If we're going to paint. Change the color up here again, the burn. Now everybody has their own ways of doing weather. I've been doing it this way for years, so it works for me. We'll change our color right. As you can see. We're going to use XF64 red brown. A we'll couple of different browns here, we'll blend in with it. And we'll see how it goes. More pass of the water. Again with our brown. We do want an exactly uniform patchy here in there, it's fine. Just get your brush again. Just brush over the just tip the tip, tip the top of the surface. Blend the paint in the next layer and so forth. This one dry before we want a different color. You know, mask it up and do our lines on the road. So we're going to add a couple of cracks in the road, and then we'll blend that in with the airbrush. So this is an ordinary pentel black marker waterproof. Just cut them about, cracks. I'm going to appear somewhere. See, we'll just blend this in with that black airbrush. Get 
Change it up in the black. Sit down. Right. Just out on the second. That's it for now. Put some more work. Pretty thin too. Overall, it. Nice wet coat. So let that sit for a minute or two before we start doing some more blending. So he's cool. Still not a wee bit to go yet. Put a mask up here. Um, we'll get our yellow lines down on the road. 
to blend everything else in again. So back in a second. Right, we've got our road markings in. Right up to full length on the board. So we'll get those done, whether they're white or yellow. Then we'll do the side markings along with this side. So we're with me here to get the paint set up. Right, we got our yellow markings done all the way along. So we'll take those off and then we'll give it another pass over. Weather down some more. So as I say, we'll do the other lines here, we'll do those red and we'll give it a full weathering again, dusting of maybe black, just or grey sorry, just to tone everything in. So back in a second. Right, we've got our red line done, a little bit of a lead, uh, bleed there at the end but we'll sort that out. So we will leave that for about another 5 10 minutes. Let it dry completely. And then we give it a matte coat. Once we give it a sorry, once we give it a another weather and we give it a matte coat. So back in a second. So here you go guys, all done. Give it a coat of matte. About 10 minutes ago. It's nice and dry. So we'll try it here with our rig on it. So here's yours, the top shot of it. And there's the side shot. So here's go guys. The next update I'll have it all finished. So thanks for watching and speak to you all later. Bye.